AI has become so central to how we code. And that's why we're open sourcing Copilot in VS Code. That was Satya Nadella at Microsoft Build 2025, the chairman and CEO of Microsoft. In 2024, VS Code was downloaded over 500 million times, almost as many times as my willpower to not go on TikTok. What if I told you that Microsoft, yes, Microsoft, the company that once made developers cry into their keyboards, has become actually cool? I know, I know. Hearing Microsoft and cool in the same sentence feels like watching your dad try to use TikTok. But stick with me here, because what happened at Build 2025 is absolutely wild. Since Open Source Copilot, contributions on GitHub involving Microsoft tools shot up by 400%. Turns out sharing is caring. We're talking about the same company that gave us Internet Explorer, Clippy asking if we need help writing a letter, and Windows Vista. But plot twist, they've had a complete personality makeover. And honestly, it's kind of beautiful. So picture this, you're a developer in 2015. You want to run Linux. Microsoft says, use a virtual machine. Or better yet, just use Windows. You want free developer registration? <laughs> That'll be 50 bucks, please. Fast forward to 2025 and Microsoft is basically sliding into developers' DMs like, hey, gorgeous, want to see my open source code? It's the corporate equivalent of your ex showing up at your door with flowers, a heartfelt apology, and suddenly they've learned to cook. You know, it's all about expanding that opportunity for developers across every layer of the stack so that you all can build the apps, the agents that can empower every person and every organization on the planet. But here's the thing, this isn't just a marketing stunt. This is Microsoft realizing that in the age of AI, developers aren't just users of their platform, they're the architects of the future. And if you want to build the future, you better make friends with the people holding the blueprints. WSL goes open source. So let's talk about the biggest plot twist of Build 2025. Microsoft open sourced the Windows subsystem for Linux. Uh, because today we are making WSL fully open source. We're open sourcing WSL. Come on, grab a bite. Now, if you're not a developer, let me explain what this means. Imagine if McDonald's suddenly gave away their secret sauce recipe and said, go ahead and prove it. That's basically what Microsoft just did with WSL. WSL had over 10 million active monthly users before open sourcing, like a secret club nobody knew they were in. And for those of you that are saying WTF is WSL, <sighs> WSL is this beautiful piece of technology that lets you run Linux inside Windows without the usual headaches. For years, developers have been asking Microsoft to open source Wassel. And then BAM! On May 19th, they just did it. Feels like watching a most stubborn friend finally admit they were wrong about pineapple on pizza. The timing isn't coincidental. WSL makes it easy to run Windows and Linux workloads simultaneously. Microsoft knows that AI development is happening primarily on Linux. If they want Windows to be relevant in the AI revolution, they need to make Linux feel at home on Windows. It's like inviting your ex to live in your house again because you realized they make better coffee. <laughs> Remember when I mentioned that $50 developer registration fee? Yeah, that's gone. Microsoft Store now includes free developer registration. You heard it right, free. Microsoft just yeeted its $50 developer registration fee into the void. Finally, you no longer have to pay them to work for them. Revolutionary stuff. I mean, imagine Apple waiving App Store fees or Google actually fixing YouTube spam bots. Yeah, it's that level of miracle. Since then, dev signups spiked 150% after Microsoft hit unsubscribe on the fee. Apparently, when you stop charging a cover at the door, more people show up to the party. Who knew? And they didn't stop there. They're rolling out new analytics reports, app campaign programs, and something called a web installer for Win32 apps, which sounds technical, but basically means installing Windows apps is about to become as easy as clicking a link. All of this is designed to help app developers grow user acquisition, discovery, and engagement on Windows. This is Microsoft playing the long game. They've realized that it's not about forcing developers to use your tools anymore. It's about making your tools so good that developers want to use them. As you may already know, it's getting a little scary how good this AI stuff is getting. Microsoft is now letting you talk to your database like it's a coworker named Steve. Hey, Steve, show me all the users who rage quit last week. And Steve actually delivers. Uh, and here we are, 
uh, in 2025, building out this open agentic web uh, at scale. Satya outlined Microsoft's commitment to building an open agentic web where AI agents will do your busy work so you can go back to arguing over tabs versus spaces in peace. AI powered coding tools are now reducing debug time by 35%. That's 35% less crying in front of your monitor. And then there's Copilot agents. They don't just auto-complete your code. They debug, suggest architecture changes, and judge your spaghetti logic without saying a word. Although, let's be honest, there's something both exciting and terrifying about AI that can write better code than most humans. It's like teaching your calculator to do your math homework and then realizing it's better at math than you are. And our aim is to offer the lowest cost, highest scale infrastructure to build both cloud and next generation uh, of AI workloads. Now this isn't just Microsoft being nice, please, this is chess. And they just moved their queen, open source tools, free onboarding, deep integration with every product they own. They're not just building the future, they're quietly paving the road to it and hoping you forget Google Maps existed. And hey, if you give devs enough free stuff, they might not notice when you casually embed your cloud ecosystem into their bloodstream. Hold up, before you start knitting a we love Microsoft sweater, remember, this is the same company that once hard-coded Bing into Windows and made it impossible to uninstall Edge. That's like saying free drinks and then charging for the cup. And let's talk security. Microsoft has had more breaches than an intermittent fasting diet on day three. But sure, let's let AI control the OS now. What could possibly go wrong? But here's the thing, even if Microsoft has ulterior motives, even if this is all part of some grand strategy to dominate the AI landscape, the tools they're releasing are genuinely good. Sometimes the best thing about corporate competition is that companies are forced to actually make their products better to win. Is this corporate affection real or just a slick love bomb? Honestly, it's probably both. Developers have too many choices and they're not afraid to use them. They realize developer happiness isn't a checkbox, it's the battleground. They're not just giving stuff away, they're playing the long game. Build trust today, dominate ecosystems tomorrow. Whether Microsoft's intentions are pure or not, the result is the same. Better tools, more open platforms, and developers getting treated like the valuable assets they actually are, instead of necessary nuisances to be managed. Look, I'm not saying Microsoft has completely transformed overnight from evil empire to benevolent. They went from you must use our tools to, hey, we open sourced everything. Wanna hang out? Honestly, you're not sure if it's a trap or a spiritual awakening. The Microsoft of 2025 is offering developers something the Microsoft of 2015 never would have. Choice, choice in operating systems, choice in tools, choice in how you build and deploy applications. And choice, more than anything else, is what developers have always wanted. Sounds so liberating and inspiring, I feel like I wanna go save the world now. Whether you're a longtime Microsoft skeptic or someone who's been waiting for them to get their act together, now might be the time to take another look. Download WSL, check out the new VS Code AI features, maybe even submit an app to their newly free Microsoft store. So, will you bite? Or are you waiting for Linux to send you flowers too? Smash that subscribe button. Drop your tinfoil theories in the comments. And just remember, in the world of big tech, yesterday's villain is tomorrow's cloud provider. Peace out, and may your merge conflicts be few.